Hello everyone, it's Danotaj here to give you a rundown as well as a few tips on the art system from Tales of Zestiria. The art system is broken up into four different types. Martial arts, hidden arts, seraphic arts, and mystic arts, all with their own extremely unique disadvantages as well as advantages. Keep that in mind and take the advantage of the enemy's defense and others' art defense. So pay attention to your enemies and make sure you're countering the arts to take full advantage of them. The first art is the most basic, the martial arts. With the ability to create up to a 4 hit combo, if you don't feel comfortable with one of the art systems just yet, this will be the easiest move to pull off. Use the left stick up and down to perform charging and piercing attacks while moving left and right for mobile and area of effect arts. Keep a variety of moves in your arsenal to prevent the enemy from being able to defend against your attacks. If you hit a stunned enemy with your initial martial art, you can get a one-time increase to your blast gauge. So if you are going to use the blast gauge for something else and stun the enemy in the middle of a combo, stop attacking for a moment before restarting your martial art attack. Note that the martial arts interrupt seraphic art casting, but are weak against hidden arts. Next are the hidden arts, which are all tied around the X button and can be comboed with both martial arts and other hidden arts. Five hidden arts can be set to be triggered by holding your X button and using your left control stick to dictate which one to use. During hidden arts you are immune from being staggered by martial arts, so use this to your advantage and counter enemies that focus on martial arts then pounce on them when they are at their most vulnerable. However, hidden arts can't interrupt seraphic arts, so beware of this and try not to get cocked by enemies using seraphic arts as they are a little stronger. Damage from hidden arts is determined by your attack plus your art attack minus the enemy's defense plus their art defense. Keep this in mind when trying to defend from or attack with hidden arts as some can break through guard if the difference in these stats is too great. Seraphic arts, like hidden arts, are also tied to the X button, so map them accordingly. These are much stronger than both martial arts and hidden arts, but take longer to cast, which means seraphic arts are all about timing, especially since they leave you vulnerable to counterattack while casting. A hidden art that would normally stagger you can be countered by a seraphic art, not to the point where you won't be damaged, but it will keep you from being staggered. Finally, there are mystic arts, which are extremely powerful. These arts can be cast when your blast gauge is at 3 or greater in the normal state, and you must have damaged the target enemy during the combo that brought you here. If you're going for a higher grade in battles, finishing off your enemies with the mystic art will definitely raise it greatly. Not to mention it also looks pretty cool when it is your finishing move. Be sure to use all these arts and combos as there are many bonuses like casting time reductions. Don't forget that some characters will have access to different arts and completely different art categories. So outfit your team and roster efficiently and accordingly to play to your style or strategy that will get you to cut through the enemies swiftly and gracefully. Thank you for watching this video and be sure to pick up your print guide at your local GameStop for a ton more useful tips and full on strategy. Once again, I've been Danotage and we are strategy.